ulnar shortening osteotomy. I'm going to make an incision over the head and neck of the ulnar bone, which we're going to shorten a few millimeters. Dissect down two. Find the tendon and protect it so it doesn't come to harm. You can see four little stab wounds for a wrist arthroscopy that I had done just before this open case. We dissect out the ulnar head and neck and place a couple of K wires in the neck, and this will serve as a guide for the saw cuts that we're going to do. We can perm all of this radiographically. Use a saw blade to go all the way through but not past the far cortex of the bone. We're going to remove a little triangular shaped piece of bone. Remove the wires. And use a towel clip to collapse down the osteotomy. Now I'm going to drill guide wire for the first screw. That holds the osteotomy shut. Now the second guide wire. We're going to place two screws here for stable fixation so we can get early motion going. Now we're going to drill over the first guide wire, the hole for the first screw. Placing the first screw. Again, very secure fixation. Now we'll drill the hole for the second screw over the second guide wire. Placing the second screw. Remove the guide wire. You can see on the x-ray that we take to check the ulnar bones on the right. There are two screws there. It's all closed down. The bone has been shorn. and everything looks really good. Now we close up the wrist. All done.